We are still strongly urging everyone to limit in-person celebrations for uh, upcoming holidays like Christmas, Kwanzaa, and New Year's, and really focus on spending those holidays only with their immediate households. We've shared some ideas for low risk holiday activities before, things like hosting a cookie decorating contest online or um, a virtual movie watch party, dropping off treats to your friends and families on their doorsteps, or enjoying an outdoor activity like hiking, sledding, or snowshoeing. You can find more of these ideas and resources at coronavirus.wa.gov backslash gatherings. It's not too late to decide to make safer plans to protect your friends and family and our broader community. We know that many of us are deeply missing our loved ones and really wish we could be together in person this year, but we have to recognize we're still on shaky ground. Planning low risk holiday celebrations now will save lives in the weeks ahead. The restrictions and isolation are so difficult. We know they're so difficult, but they will not last forever. Death and lifelong complications from COVID-19 will. Our efforts to avoid a post-Thanksgiving spike seem to have worked, as you heard from Dr. Lindquist. And we are so very grateful for how Washingtonians came together to help slow the spread of COVID-19, protect our healthcare system, and save lives. As difficult it is, as it is, we need to keep that work up and do the same thing for the remaining holidays in order to protect our healthcare system and our communities as we move into the new year. Every choice we make to wear masks, to watch our distance, and to limit our gatherings matters. They all add up. You've heard a theme of hope across all my colleagues so far. Hope truly is on the horizon as more and more people get vaccinated over the coming months, as we get more daylight back into our lives up here in the Northwest, and as the weather improves and we can spend more time outdoors. We will be able to gather with our friends, family, and loved ones one day soon. Let's get to that day together. By staying apart and staying home for the holidays, we can save more lives and give our loved ones and communities the gift of togetherness in 2021.